Okay, we just got home last night. So, everybody missed us, can you tell? <laughs> Ruby's ears are up for now. <laughs> the girl's ears usually go up first. Hi, you. Hi, Regal. And then over here we have Remington. This is Ruby. <laughs> Your ears look so silly at this age right now. Yes, they do. There's Raya with her one ear up. Then over here we have Raider. And over there we have Princess. Oh wait, no. Over here we have Princess uh, Princess River. That's Ranger. Hi, <laughs> Ray. Hi, Ruby. <laughs> That's Ranger right there. Hi. Hi, Raider. Put one ear up, don't you? Yes, you do, and the other ear is starting to prop up, too. Really, River? Now, I will go ahead and give a warning. Just because her ears are up right now doesn't mean that they are going to stay up. It's just early pricking forward of the puppy's ears. They usually go down and up and down and up before they actually stay up for good. So, just because you see the ears up right now doesn't mean that that's going to, that's a surefire sign that their ears are always going to be up, uh, this, that, and the other. You hear a lot of uh, really, really crazy things on the internet and it just is not true. <laughs> Hi, baby. Yes. This is Regal. <laughs> and there is... Oh, let's see. This is Remington. Yes. Been gone for a little bit, so now I have to go ahead and reuse... Go ahead and get used to your guys' faces again. Yes. Dog show has me completely... My brain melted. Hi. You're adorable, too. Yes. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, River. River is a little bit of a talker. She likes to grumble to herself. Yes. Remington likes to wave. Hi, pretty boy. Hi, pretty girl. Yes, I know. Oh, yes, big stretch. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Ranger. You're very cute, too. Yes, you are. Hi, Bumbles. Hi, Mama Bumbles. But they're not happy at all to have people. <laughs> They had my dad out here pretty much all day yesterday, but it's not the same. <laughs> they say, we want people out here every day, all day, all the time with us. Not just every other hour, all the time. Yes. We have become spoiled. And there goes my shoe again. As you can see, I had to repair it once already from them. And they have already gone ahead and... You are biting my butt. Yes. They have discovered tugging on clothes. And they think it's the most interesting thing in the world. Now, when these guys go home, they are going to be little baby velociraptors, of course. So when they bite and you don't want them to, what you do to get them to release is you take your fingers... And you push in on the lip against the tooth. Okay. And so it's like you're biting them by going ahead and forcing them to bite themselves. And they will release immediately and you tell them no real firmly. So it makes an unpleasant experience for them to do that. That is their natural herding instinct kicking in to go ahead and nip at things to get them to go where they want to go. And what you're doing is you're slowly shifting that from a nipping herding to a stare herd 
hurting instinct. You're getting them to stare at things instead. So it's something that they're going to go ahead and have a struggle with, but they will eventually understand. They're not nearly as bad as Malinois. <laughs> Those guys I've heard are horror stories about what you have to go through to get them to switch. Hi, baby. Hi. So, it's just a normal part of owning a German Shepherd. I don't want to discourage anybody, but that's just normal. I terrible. Yes, I regal.